Hello everyone, I'm Angeline Tamundong, a freshman from BS Psychology. In today's video, I will be discussing about measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. I will be discussing mean, median, mode, the weighted mean, and frequency distribution. Let our study time begin. Mean. The mean is the most commonly used measure of central tendency. When we speak of average, we always refer to the mean. We will be using the formula of the summation of x over n. Example number one, five friends in a NSTP class of 40 students receives a final grade of 80, 94, 96, 98, 98. Find the mean of their average grades. Una muna natin gagawin ay i-add yung mga nakuhang grades nung limang magkakaibigan. 80 plus 94 plus 96 plus 98 plus 98. And it will be 466 over 5. Bakit 5? Kasi lima sila. At ang sagot dyan ay 93.2. Example number 2. The ages of 7 people living in one house are the following. 9, 18, 31, 63, 65, 67, 94. Find the mean of their average age. Katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, iaad natin yung age nung mga taong nakatira sa iisang bahay. 9 plus 18 plus 31 plus 63 plus 65 plus 67 plus 94. And it will be 347 over 7. With that, it will be 49.6. Example number 3. An 8-membered boy band heights are the following 171 176 178 179 180 180 182 185 find the mean of their average height iaad natin yung mga heights nila at i-divide sa 8 it will be 1000 431 over 8. Therefore, the mean of their average height will be 178.9. Example number 4. Six siblings receives a cash allowance of 200, 200, 350, 450, 500, 500. Find the mean of of their average money. Ia-add natin yung nakuha nilang pera sa anim. Since anim silang magkakapatid, it will be 2,200 over 6. Therefore, their average money would be 366.7. Example number 5. There are 6 rooms in the 3rd floor of the senior high school building. Each of them consists of 41, 41, 44, 45, 48, 48 students. Find the mean of the average students. Ia-add natin yung population nung anim na classrooms. It will be 267 divided by 6. Therefore, 44.5 is the mean average of students in the senior high school building, 3rd floor. Median. The median is the midpoint of the data array. Before finding this value, the data must be arranged in order from least to greatest or vice versa. The median will either be a specific value or or will fall between two values. 
Example number one. Five countries were selected to represent their oldest living resident. Their ages are 114, 119, 117, 125, 123. Find their median. Una muna natin gagawin ay i-arrange yung data in order. Nasa iyo na kung paano mo siya gagawin. Kung ascending order ba o descending order. Sa akin, in-arrange ko siya from least to greatest. 114, 117, 119, 123, 125. Their median is 119 since siya yung nasa gitna. Example number 2, 10 intelligent people were placed on the same room to compete. Their IQs are 160, 170, 160, 190, 194, 190, 210, 198, 230, 225. Find their median. We will arrange the data in order from least to greatest. Paano kapag dalawa yung median? If there is two median, we will plus them both. Then divide it by 2. 190 plus 194 divided by 2 equals 192. The median of example number 2 is 192. Example number 3. STEM, UMS, ABM, ICT, and HE released each of their own top student. The scores were 93, 95, 96, 95, 98. Find their median. After we arranged the data in order, from least to greatest, the median of example number 3 is 95. Example number 4, 8 artists gather on an event. Each of them have been in the industry for 3, 5, 4, 8, 10, 8, 15, 14 years. Find their median. After we arrange the data in order from least to greatest, their median is 8. 8 plus 8 divided by 2, it is still 8. Example number 5. Seven streets have a population of 255, 313, 266, 652, 548, 968, 694. Find their median. After we arrange the data in order from least to greatest, the median of example number 5 is 548. Mode. It is the value that occurs most often in the dataset. The number, value, observation in a dataset which appears the most number of times. Example number 1. Find the mode of the given dataset. 4, 7, 11, 7, 13, 7, 12, 7, 14, 7, 18, 23, 22, 25, 32, 27, 40. We will arrange the data set in ascending or descending order. I personally arrange the data from least to greatest. As what we see, in the given data, the number that appeared the most is 7. There are 5 7 in the dataset. The dataset is said to be unimodal. Example number 2. 10 schools have the number of staffs as follows. 347, 247, 333, 400, 
615, 400, 777, 800, 915, 777. Find the mode. After we arrange the data set in ascending or descending order, the data set has said to be two modes, 400 and 777. Pag dalawa ang mode, ibig sabihin, bimodal yun. Example number 3. Find the mode of the given data set. 125, 119, 118, 117, 117, 115, 113, 113, 112, 111, 100. After we arrange the data set in ascending or descending order, as we can see, there are two modes in the data set, 113 and 117. The data set is bimodal. Example number 4, 7 group of friends save money for 12 days. They have saved 500, 777, 666, 900, 800, 955. Find the mode. After we arrange the data set in ascending or descending order, as we can see, there is no mode in example number 4. Example number 5. Find the mode of the given data set. 17, 15, 16, 14, 12, 13, 18, 10, 11, 9, 8, 5, 1, 7, 4, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1. Arrange the data set in ascending or descending order. After we did it, there is only one mode in this data set, and it is 1. The weighted mean. The weighted mean of the n numbers x sub 1 to x sub n with the respective assigned weights. The summation of x times w over the summation of w, where the summation of x times w is the sum of the products formed by multiplying each number by its assigned weight, and the summation of w is the sum of all weights. Example for the weighted mean. Many colleges use the 4-point grading system. A is to 4 points, B is to 3 points, C is to 2 points, D is to 1 point, F is to 0 point. Find the grade point average of arts grades in the given semester course grades. By using the formula of the weighted mean, we will compute his grades. 3 times 3 plus 4 times 3 plus 3 times 3 plus 4 times 3 over 12. Paano nangyari yan? We multiply his grades and his units, his grades B equivalent to 3 points times 3, which is his units, his grades A equivalent to 4 points times 3, his units, divided by 12 equals 3.5. Arts GPA for the given semester is 3.5. Frequency Distribution a frequency distribution, which is a table that lists observed events and the frequency occurrence of each observed event, is often used to organize raw data. Pwede natin gamitin ang frequency distribution pag sobrang dami na nung given na dataset, like nasa 50 plus or more. For example, our research was about gadgets specifically laptops, and nagpa-survey kami per room 
kung ilan yung laptops na dala ng college students. And this is the response. First, we're going to find the mean of the data. Para makuha natin yan, we need to use frequency distribution para ma-present natin yung data into table. And the number of laptops is the first column, while the second column is the number of rooms. Ibig sabihin, out of 40, merong walong rooms na walang laptops. Out of 40, merong 12 rooms na may isang laptops. Out of 40, may anim na rooms na dalawa yung laptops. After we use the frequency distribution, gagamitin naman natin yung weighted mean. We will times the number of laptops to the number of rooms. 0 times 8 plus 1 times 12 plus 2 times 6 plus 3 times 2 plus 4 times 2 plus 5 times 2 plus 6 times 4 plus 7 times 4 over 40. It will be 100 over 40 equals 2.5. The mean number of laptops per room is 3. Kasi ni round off ko na siya. This is the end of our study time. Thank you and have a great weekend.